Look how many chips there are here. Oh my god, this so is a lot of chips. Fundido. I'm gonna try this. Look at this, deliciousness. Welcome everyone to another adventure of Mactastic Productions. And this evening we're dining at Amatista, which is inside the Sapphire Falls Universal Orlando Resort. Sapphire Falls is a Caribbean beach resort, or I'm sorry, beach theme resort. Mm -hmm. So I've seen some of the menu and it looks like it's gonna be very Caribbean themed. Tropical, right? Tropical, uh, Spanish style food, maybe Jamaican food. So a mixture of the Caribbean. So we're excited for this dining review. Are you excited, babe? Yes, we're super excited. And if you're watching this vlog, make sure to catch the vlog prior to this one. But we uh, have our nice staycation here at Sapphire, uh, Sapphire, Sapphire Falls, Falls itself. So um, make sure to make, watch that. And you're welcome to dine with us here at Amatista Cookhouse. Let's go. So we here, we just sat down, we had the Amatisa Cookhouse menu here. Uh, I just wanted to show you the starters that they have here. Oh, that queso fundido. If you guys watched our vlog here at San Angelin in Epcot, the queso fundido was excellent. So I might, we might try that. I uh, might try the, uh, let's see here, what else do they have? Uh, let me see the pozole soup, jerk shrimp. Uh, let's see here. And they have chicken noodle soup, Caesar salad, lasso appetizers here let me show you the main courses here at amatista uh 60 south salmon 12 ounce grilled ribeye eight ounce you know strip steak seafood paella jerk chicken oh they got the pork chop uh they're very the chicken here the rotisserie chicken is very famous here it's a mojo marinated rotisserie chicken which i'm probably gonna get because it's a favorite here at the amatista cookhouse uh, they have flatbread sandwiches here and they get the desserts over here Wow, it's a great menu here. Very tropical, very yeah, Caribbean food. Very Caribbean. I see here, yeah. So I can't wait to try the items here. And by turning the menu, I just saw here they have the specialty cocktails, as you can see here. Ooh, the Havana Colada, I might get that. I love pina coladas. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, that sounds good for you, baby. The uh, the apple teenies. Apple teenies. That yeah. looks really Ooh, good. Ooh, I haven't yeah. had one of those in a long time. So maybe get the apple teenies here. Uh, this is all the list of the uh, tropical drinks they have here the they cocktail. have bottled beer cocktails they have white wines uh, they also have the red wines here so alcohol they have it covered here at Amatista cookhouse and aside from the regular menu they have an option here it's a pre-course meal three courses uh, they have the taste of Amatista you can get a uh, appetizer here pick one of these appetizers pick uh, the, mar the main course was the chicken the strip steak or the salmon and here is the dessert and that's all for $44 which I think is a great value. They have it here every night here at Amatista. Oh, look at that apple teeny. Ooh, look at this. Wow, you haven't had apple teeny in a while. Oh or my God, I haven't had general. any martinis in yeah. a long time, but this looks so intriguing and so <laughs> interesting. I saw apple teenies. I don't, I'm not a big fan of martinis, mm -hmm. but I do like the apple teenies. Flavor martinis are really delicious. Yeah. Special apple martinis. Yeah, yeah, cheers, let's try this. Cheers. Oh my god, this is so good! Uh -oh. oh my god, I haven't had a martini in a while. What was I thinking? Did we add it to the list? I think we should add it to the, t to the <laughs> list. Man, we're getting, our list is getting long now, yeah, no? The dangerous drink list. <laughs> dangerous drink list. <laughs> this is awesome, it's very good. You can taste the flavor of the, of the um, apple in the martini. And it's really good, nice and cold, very refreshing. I like the little lemon decor. Lemon garnish, yeah. That's awesome! I love it! <laughs> wow! Yeah, look at that. Look at that! Albana colada. Wow! Yeah. Albana colada. That's right. Because remember, this is Caribbean. Yeah. This is from my hometown. So let's mm -hmm. see if Albana does these uh, coladas really good. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Cheers. Good, no? Oh man. 
delicious. Wow, you could taste the creaminess on the top. Yeah, the look at that pineapple. Look, look at like that garnish. I'm gonna garnish dip there. this garnish in. Look at that. Be careful. Look at that. <laughs> oh. oh my oh, god. So good, no? Wow. Very refreshing. Very good. I love the Havana colada. I love pina coladas in general. This is the Havana colada, so really good. Like I said, Havana from Cuba. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> really good. I definitely recommend if you come here. You like pina coladas? The Havana coladas X is really good. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at how many chips there are here. Oh my god, this so is a lot of chips. So we did get the queso fundido. Let's Ooh, see if it's good this. as uh, I said earlier, as the one in Epcot at the San Angel. Oh yeah, the Remember one in San Angel. Eh? Epcot, so We're we gonna, love that. We love the queso fundido from yeah. San Angel Inn restaurant, which is located inside the Mexican pavilion in Epcot. Epcot. And this one looks just as delicious. So let's yeah. see if which one's better. Go. I'm gonna try this. Look at this deliciousness. Mm. <laughs> wow. Can you taste the chorizo there? Like you can taste a lot of cheese. Mm -hmm. The sauce is delicious. It's fantastic. And the chip is so good. And the 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 how's meat. The, how's the cheese in this factor? Does it it's the good, from I think was, I still prefer the one in Epcot. Okay, the Epcot one the is one pretty good. The one in San Angel was really, really good. Yeah. I think it was a little bit more cheesier. Ah, uh, okay. But this one it looks more is meatier, really I think. good. It's yeah. more, it has more meat. Yeah. Um, I think the one in Epcot was a little bit more cheesy. Okay. But it was still good. So yeah, but I do see. I do see. Oh, look, I see some. Look, some, look, look at I the meat. I do see, these, see some uh, cheese here. Yeah, look at yeah, all the cheese. Some cheese game there. <laughs> it's really good. I really. I really like it. Cheese queso so. fundido. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> wow, these empanadas look like the Colombian empanadas, oh which we love here. So let so me go ahead. It's not the pastry ones no, that usually the Caribbean you find ones. in yes. and like Cuba and Santo Domingo and Puerto Rico. These are more like with the corn. Cornmeal, yes. Uh, which is more Colombian, Colombian Venezuelan. Oh, look at that sauce right there. You see that, guys? Wow, that looks good. Yeah. Yeah, you can right. see it. It's really good. Cheers. Oh my God. Ooh, how <laughs> is that, baby? Is it meat? It's a chicken, see the meat it's a chicken empanada. Oh, it's chicken. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've never had chicken empanada yeah. like this. Really good. We've wow. had the meat ones, which usually it's with the shredded meat, which is Colombian. This, to be honest, these are the, I wish these are the Colombian empanadas they had. Over at the Epcot booth, the Encanto booth. Yeah. At Epcot. I wish it was more like this. Yes. They would have been a lot mm. better. So the empanadas that they had in the uh, art festival should have been like these. Yeah, it's chicken and potato there. Oh yeah, very Colombian. Very Colombian. And from yeah. Venezuela, they also do it like yes. this. So this is wow. an actual Colombian empanada. Definitely like empanadas. If you like empanadas, uh, yeah, this is a great appetizer. Really good. Yeah. Oh, look what they brought us also with the meal. It's a yeah. lot of food already. This is the bread service here. Oh, man, look at this bread. I can tell this is cheesy bread. Look at oh, that. Oh, my God, look at the cheese. Oh. Is that cheese, man? Yeah, that's cheese what bread the right heck? there. Let me go. Let me try it. Oh. Wow. Wow. It tastes like... Um, like a croissant? It looks like a croissant. It's in Spanish called pan de bono. It's the softness of the pan de bono. If you guys look... It's like a Spanish bread, cheesy in the inside and the crispy on the outside. Wow, this wow, bread is good. That looks good. Ooh. Very, uh, very Latin, Latino, Hispanic bread right here. It's excellent. Excellent bread service. Yeah, mm. and look at all the other ones that are. It's like different ones here. Yeah, one here with. Yeah, that's good. Look yeah. at that. What's that one? I believe those are oh, raisins. Wow. Let me check. It's like sweet bread. Yeah, raisins here. Raisins. Oh, wow. Sweet bread. So wow. yeah, it looks like the bread service. You get like different really kinds of bread. And, and you give a nice I little like salt and butter. It's very <laughs> Spanish. It's very, yes. very, very Latino. Caribbean, very, very Latino, Latino yeah. which is nice. But this sweet bread is excellent. I, oh my God. One of the best breads I've tasted. Mm. Wow, look at what Paul got. He yes. got arroz con gandules. Which is rice uh, with pigeon peas. Yes, it's so rice with pigeon peas. Spanish arroz con gandules. Yeah. Uh, I got the mojo chicken, marinated yeah, rotisserie. Look at that. Yes. Oh my God. It's a half, half chicken. Half chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, garlic aioli sauce here. Oh wow, it looks delicious. Hey, we're here you have the plátano maduros. The sweet plantains. We call plátano maduros. 
here, this is uh, yuca con mojo, yes. which is cassava. So it's cassava, but it's not fried cassava. It's yeah. actually boiled. boiled cassava, which mm -hmm. that uh, a lot of the Latin countries do the uh, uh, boiled cassava. Like I'm from Cuba, so I know how to do the cassava, the boiled cassava. It comes with uh, onions and garlic. And, uh, it's and the mojo, really good. Yeah, the and mojo. The mojo. Is, the mojo is like a seasoning. So it's like a seasoning mm, that you seasoning. make basically with an onion and the garlic. So it's called yuca con mojo. Now let's try this, man. Oh, let's go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna dig into the chicken here. Get a nice little piece here. There you go. Oh, I said white here. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, let me get a little slice of the skin here. Oh. Can I can see the chicken now, very good. Now I'm going to dip it with the aioli, aioli sauce here, the garlic. Ooh. I see it there. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. How's the flavor of the chicken? The chicken itself is really good. Nice and tender. Crispy on the outside uh, because of the rotisserie. Mm -hmm. That garlic sauce is good. Let me try my rice with uh, pigeon peas. Arroz con gandules. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Really good. Oh, that looks good though. Yeah, the rice is still seasoned too. Kind of like a reddish color, as you can see there. Yeah, reddish yellowish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that means it's seasoned good when mm -hmm. it's that, that yellow color like that. And then the maduros, and I love sweet plantains. Sweet plantains. Yeah. Here. This one looks a little bit. A little too and, crispy. And actually, if you guys uh, know, uh, the sweeter the plantain is when you fry it, it gets a little dark. Yeah. So it's not burned. It's just that it's sweeter that way when it's darker. And what I'm going to do, the, the cassava, maybe is more of a fan of that. So I'm going to let her try it. But the chicken <laughs> with the sauce is excellent. Now this white sauce, I'm not sure what yeah, it is. Yeah, I was going to say, you didn't try it. Try let the me white try, sauce. Yeah. Let me double check it. Let me just take a piece of chicken here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that white Ooh, sauce there. That looks good, the white mm. sauce there. Mmm. Is it like a ranch or something? Or like a garlic sauce or? Let me find out for you. Give me one second. This is actually the garlic sauce here. And this is the spicy cilantro. Oh, okay. that was, that's why that it's was a little bit green. It's really heavy on the garlic. I think I like more the cilantro, the, the cilantro? spicy cilantro. It doesn't yeah. taste too heavy on the cilantro. No, there. I think this is a better sauce with it. The garlic sauce is really strong. So okay. Uh, but keep overall, that in mind, guys. keep that in mind, guys. But overall, it's a nice traditional Caribbean Latin meal here. Excellent, excellent. I highly recommend it. Mab has got here the New York strip steak here. Ooh, look at that. She got it medium well. It comes with a nice little broccolini. And this is yuca also. This is so cassava. This is cassava. But it's fried. So this is the fried version of the cassava yes, instead of the very, oil. Which is a traditional uh, vegetable that we hear in, uh, in Spanish America, you know, Latin America. Mm -hmm. It looks really good. And Magnus also got uh, the rice, rice with pink with beans. With the pink beans. Which is very traditional. Also. Yeah, look at, the, look at the pink beans right there. So if you guys like pink beans and white rice, there you go. Ooh. Nice and soft too. Nice and look, soft. So Magnus got her clean well. I don't think this is the best knife for it. They should have given us, uh, or they should be giving out a better steak knife. Better steak knife is that. But that is the yeah, steak knife. I guess. Yeah, but it's like mm, nah, maybe this one is just not the best. <laughs> yeah. But the meat is soft and tender, so you can see the the piece of the meat here. Let's see it. Right there. Let's see if you guys can see because it's there a little dim in here. Mm -hmm. But look at that, look at the meat. And I got it medium well. I don't like it where it's kind of raw or too red. Yeah. Doesn't look appealing to me, unfortunately. <laughs> and maybe to some, they like it that way, yes. but I like it medium well. Really good. So let's go look ahead. Look at that. Let's, go let's ahead and try, try it. it. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Now, we had a lot of steaks in our time. And you guys saw mm, a lot of our vlogs involve steak. So how does this compare to other wow. steaks we had in the, in the past? For Universal Steak, this is... Magtastic. Wow. This is so good. Does it taste it's more like tender. more the Latino spices? It does taste a little bit more of Hispanic. Yeah. New York strip steak. Yeah. Versus the regular American style oh, yeah. New York strip steak. I like feel a lot like of the Sazon the, Goya. <laughs> no. No. It's uh it's a little bit thinner though. Okay. Like the cut. More of a flank steak. 
is more like a flank steak yeah. cut, more than the thicker New York strip. It is an style. eight ounce, yeah, eight ounce. Yeah, so. but the flavor is is very savory, it's delicious, it's juicy. Um, the flavor is great. And what I like the most that it's not chewy, it's soft, and it's tender. Yeah, and that. Let, let's try this, uh, let's try the yuca here, the fried yuca. You want to try it with my garlic sauce? You know what? Let's try it with the garlic sauce. Yes, right there. Because usually when you have fried yuca, you can uh, dip like I it said, with the garlic some... sauce I wasn't a big fan of. Let's see. But let's see if Mac was like Let's see if it. Paul is, is right about the heavily, heavy garlic yeah. flavor on the sauce here. Mm. I actually like the garlic ah, sauce. Ah, you see? But again, Paul doesn't like garlic too much. I do. Yes. I like cooking with garlic, with onions, so sauteed onions, sauteed garlic. I love it. And the yuca is very delicious. Nice and fried, fresh, soft. It's not so hard on the yeah. inside, but it's crunchy on the outside. It's perfect. So Try the rice, trying and, the rice beans. and beans here. Very, See, very I'm a big fan of rice and beans, mm -hmm. as I am Cuban, so yes. I can be the judge of the rice and beans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's try it. Actually, it's pretty good. Yeah? I will say, I'm not a big fan of the rice. Rice could be better. The rice could be better, but the beans, the pink beans, are fantastic. Mm -hmm. okay. And they're good. I, I, good. I give it a high five for the beans. The rice, eh, it could be a little bit better. There you go. <laughs> and now, the, the yuca more. So, Magnus is Ooh, a look connoisseur. At this. Uh, got peppers, mojo yuca. onions. Look so, at this. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> So good that it fell off the floor. <laughs> so off the floor. Let's try it. Let's try it. So you guys can see here mm -hmm. how it is. The peppers, and usually it's red yes. and green pepper, so mm -hmm. it's done perfectly from what I can see so far. Let's, Let's taste it. it. She's a big fan of yuca, so she knows if it's done well or not. Mm. I know how to make mm -hmm. yuca con mojo. That's my biggest thing, being yes. Cuban. That's one of our main dishes, yuca con mojito. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, it's done perfect here. Wow. It's done really good. Wow. So the only thing they're they're falling a little bit behind is the rice. The rice is the only thing that I can say they can do much better on. Yes. Not a big fan of the rice, but it's not bad. But overall, all the food that we've tried here is delicious. Fantastic. Very Fantastic. Spanish style. I love it. <laughs> so Magnus ordered another dangerous drink, hopefully. Mm. Uh, this is called the, cop the cookhouse punch. Uh, this comes with Diplomatico Planas, uh, or Greet, pineapple, lemon, and grenadine here. Ooh, look so it looks like a it looks. Yeah. Nice looking punch. Yeah, it's Let's very see. tropical. Let's see how it is. Cheers. Ding. Wow, this even tastes better than my apple teeny. Oh, wow, yeah. Should have gone oh, with yeah. the punch. Yeah. This is one of those dangerous drinks. Yes, definitely. Yeah, it's a Where rum it's punch. It's very sweet. It's a rum punch. Yeah. So. And it's one of these sweet drinks that you can drink like a whole lot of them, yeah. but then are you going to get up? Mm, I don't think, <laughs> I think so. so. Add it to the dangerous drink list. <laughs> so dessert has finally arrived. Mavis got here. Wow, this, oh this looks so good. She got the too. chocolate coconut bread pudding. It comes with macadamia nuts, rum ice cream, which is Magnus's favorite. Toasted sweet coconut flakes here. Mm. Wow, that looks big enough for two magnets, is, so I don't know. Yeah, and you said this is rum raisin ice rum cream? Rum raisin ice cream. Oh, it's my favorite it's too. It's favorite, right? So, Ooh, it's a lot. Even this though it has, the only two. thing I'm worried about, babe, is that it has the coconut flakes on here. Yeah. Which you're not a big fan uh, of. I'm not a big fan of but the let's coconut. See, let's see how it is. But like I said, that's big enough for both of us, babe, so you're going to have to share. Yeah, I am definitely sharing, because this is too <laughs> much for me. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, let's try it. Let's try it. Oh my god, let me get some. The rum raisin. The rum raisin here. Uh, oh my god, look at that. I know you don't like the coconut flakes, babe, but let's see how look it is. Look at how good that looks. Yeah, let me see. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see here. And it's hot, so you gotta be careful. It's hot, yes. Because I went to touch a thing and I'm like, oh, I almost burned myself <laughs> with a little pan there. Mm. Oh yeah. So the cake part is like the, the cake part is hot, right? It's really good. Yeah. I love the I mean, rum raisin. Mm -hmm. I hate the co French coconut. Yeah, I know. I wasn't even big. That was maybe a deal breaker for you, but 
This is the only thing I don't like about this dessert is yeah. the shredded coconut. It's that shredded coconut that's very annoying to me. Yes, but that... you wanted to get it like how it is. Yeah. Just show you guys. So Magnus is sacrificing herself. Yeah, I'm sacrificing <laughs> my uh, palate, if yeah. I can say, because I'm not... Yeah. I like coconut, but it has to be a little bit well, bigger this shredded coconut. Guys how... This is the one that's a little annoying to me, but it is really good. Look at it. It's so good. It's nice and moist. It's warm. Mm -hmm. The rum raisin. If you guys never had rum raisin, oh my god, that is like one of the best ice creams. One of my favorites after pistachio. This yeah, like is my I second said, favorite. A lot, a lot. Definitely a, a dessert for two. I believe, it's a so. dessert for two. Yeah. Absolutely, really but, but besides the coconut, mm -hmm. I give it a four. Four out of five. Nice. Over here is just nice, plain passion fruit sorbet. I love sorbet. Uh, I want something light here. It's not yeah. as nice as Magnus's uh, coconut uh, bread pudding. Yeah, but not everybody has to have some kind of cake or something. Yeah. Sometimes you just require something cool and light. Yeah, and I did call it cake, but it's really bread pudding. <laughs> But this is, is man, this is passion fruit. I love passion fruit, and I love sorbet. So I, they had it on the menu. So the, let me just get it. I wanted something light, you know. Yeah, that looks delicious. Oh, it looks kind of like a pineapple color. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Cheers. Ooh. Mm. Wow. Oh, very tart and cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm. wow. I love passion fruit. And pa oh, I can't what. <laughs> It's so good and sweet and tart. Wow, this sorbet is delicious. I'm a big sorbet connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can, I can tell you guys he is. Like I said, the presentation is not as nice as just sorbet. I wish they would have put maybe like a little flour or something like that as presentation wise, but the taste makes up for it. As soon as you as soon as you taste the, the sorbet, the passion fruit hits you. Sweet and tart. If you guys like passion fruit, like me, I love passion fruit. Excellent, excellent dessert here. Oh, I love it. I love passion fruit. I can't say more about the passion fruit. It's a great sorbet. Amazing dinner at yes. Amatista. Wrecked. Wow. Ma it was, what was it? Was it? Magtastic. <laughs> yeah, everything was great. All of, starting from the appetizers. Uh, we had the, the empanadas, which I'm very surprised they were like very Colombian style. Colombian style, style empanadas. Which, we love I love We love we the love Colombian it. empanadas. Uh, the queso fundido was good. It was good. It was more meaty than cheesy, uh, yeah. as opposed to the one in, like we said, San Angel, San Angel and Epcot. It was more cheesier there. But it was good. It the was food, good. The food was good. My steak was nice and tender, savory, juicy. Mm -hmm. It was more like a flank. More of a steak, yeah. yeah. Not a traditional. But it was good. Yeah. I loved it. Uh, um, I had my the mojo chicken was great. All the sides, uh, the uh, the plantains, the the mojo yuca. Um, the only thing we, uh, you know, it was okay. It was. It could, the only thing that was lacking, to be honest, was the rice the part. Rice. Yeah, the rice, the rice, you know, the chick, the rice with chickpeas was okay. It was, it was yeah. good, but the rice could have been better, in my I, opinion. I, I think it, it <laughs> I'm sorry, maybe because we're Spanish and we're Latinos and we know how to make our Latino rice. <laughs> and this is a Caribbean style. Spanish style. Uh, Spanish style restaurant. So I mm -hmm. think they lacked on the rice. They could do better. Now, yeah. I'm not saying now that the rice, don't take me wrong, the rice was good. Yeah. It was just not the best. Not the best, yeah. But that's the only thing that we thought could have been better. Very, yeah, but the, put it that way. But the main entrees were excellent. But everything was, uh, everything else was excellent. The cocktails were. Oh yeah. Awesome. She had a couple dangerous uh, yeah. drinks to add to the list. Dangerous drinks. Uh, my pina colada was great, um, and the desserts. Uh, she did like the uh, the, 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 the bread pudding, pudding. I with did the, like uh, it. but she didn't like the the, the coconut. It would have been better without the shredded coconut yeah. on it. I, personally, I don't think it needed it. Yeah. But other than that, it was good. I ate it, and it was really good. Yeah, and my sorbet was excellent. I love passion fruit. Uh, it was super tart, super sweet. Uh, great dessert for, my, uh, for what I like. Nice, light dessert at the end of the night. Um, but everything was good, and the service was excellent. Shout out to uh, shout out to Omar. Omar. Omar was a great server. Fantastic. Uh, if you do come here, ask for him. He'll take care of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful in any way. Yeah. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Well, tonight was a great night. Tonight definitely was a magtastic night. night. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on the next magtastic production. Bye, Bye guys. guys.